dollar taco guys at Tia Cory's. Dollar tacos, that's it. So cheap, so good. And so good. My channel is uh, Adam Francisco. Adam Francisco. And I and I interview people about politics. Oh, oh no, that's gotta be interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I just, I just wanna know, did you guys register to vote? I yes. did, yeah, you did. I voted you, already. You voted already, did you do mail-in or in person? I did mail-in, don't roast me for it, okay. but yeah. Who are you voting for? I'm, that ain't none of your business. Okay, who are you voting for? That ain't none of his business. No, my YouTube channel is where people guess who people are voting for based on how they look. Okay, well, guess. Oh, well, who do you think I'm voting for? I, 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 I don't want to say Biden, yeah, but... I would love they, you to they, guess. They're going to say I'm voting for Biden. Probably. Yeah, because I feel like you guys did mail-in, so you're voting for Biden. I didn't do mail-in. I haven't even voted yet. But they're probably going to say I'm voting for Biden. Because I'll tell you who I'm yeah. voting for. Hey, cool. Hey, are you, on my, are you on the same side? Listen, you can't get it out of me. You okay. won't be able to get it out of me. And so you're going to leave my audience I'm guessing? I'm sure it is, yeah. All right. Follow me on Instagram at Sierra Sloshford. I will change your life. I need your Instagram name. I got to put it on my okay. phone so I, I okay. don't lose at, it. Well, I would have to message it to you at S I E R R A S C H L O S S B E R G. Long yes. You want those? You want those followers, huh? Yeah, of course. All right, you're about to get some. Okay, cool. Bye, guys. Hi. Where are you from? Uh, Daytona Beach. Oh, you're local. Yes. Nice, nice. So I got a question. Did you uh, register to vote? I did. Are you going to vote in person or mail-in? Uh, in person. You're going to go in person? Yeah. Do you want to share my audience who you're voting for? Uh, Trump Nation. I got it on my... Are you? You're, oh, this is your truck? Yeah. This is your truck. Wow, beautiful woman in a big truck. Up, and this is a Chevy made in America. Yes, sir. Oh, and she's got the Trump flags. Yo, you got it. What happened to this flag? Uh, I just got back from North Carolina, so oh. I packed up for the trip. Beautiful. Well, you know what? I'm a big Trump supporter. Hey, hell you yeah. You think he's going to win? Oh, I know it. Yeah, landslide. It takes everyone. It takes everyone, though. I know. We gotta I'll go I'll go out and vote. Uh, we'll just do the queen. <laughs> you look stunning. What's going on here? Why are you out here dressed like this? Um, I am advocating for prison reform by sending a pen pal photo. <laughs> are you really? I am. That's why wow. I'm here at the post office. Oh, that's amazing. Good for you. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to be voting this upcoming election? Yes. What are you voting for? Uh, absolutely Biden. <laughs> You're voting for Biden. Yes, I am. What's uh, one reason why you aren't voting for Trump? Because when I see the American flag now, I feel like I am hated. You feel hated? I feel hated. Well, let me I tell you this. I like don't hate you. I saw your look. Thank you. And I thought you looked amazing. And I, as you know, I am a Trump supporter. Yes. Did you see 50 Cent, what he said yesterday? Yes, I did. How do you feel about 50 Cent joining the Trump train? I appreciate 50 Cent and his views. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. So you're not one of those cancel culture uh, leftists? Uh, I don't believe in titles. I think that everybody you. is entitled to feel the way that they do. I feel hurt by Trump's administration, okay. yep. not by Trump personally. Okay. Just by the supporters, not Trump. I They're hear that. Supporters. I hear that. That's a, that's a very good distinction. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for voting this election and uh, keep it up. No problem. I read all five of Trump's books, by the way. I was a huge fan. There you go. Uh -huh. I love that. I said, when I see Trump supporters, they never look like you. What do they usually look like? White and radical, and very much so with anti anti black f um, flags or black lives don't matter, all lives matter. That statement mm. alone is hurtful. They never look or sound like you or let you understand that there's a community of people out there other than right. rebels. Well, I'll say this I have no problem saying the statement black lives matter because I agree that black lives matter. That's why all lives matter. That but, statement alone. But, means but I do have an issue with the organization and how they go about doing some things. But that's the distinction I make. Black Lives Matter is a statement. I will support that 100%. Mm -hmm. But as an organization, I do have some questions about, you know, what's been going on in the news lately, right. which I think is a fair distinction. It's a fair distinction. You know? Black lives do matter. All lives do matter. But that's why the statement alone, Black Lives Matter, means so much. Right. And, and, and people should not have a problem saying that. And I will say Black Lives Matter. Look, I just said it three times in a row right now, and I stand by that because it's a true statement. Thank you. But the problem is the organization has conflated that message with the name of their, with the name of their, their you know, organization. And that's caused a lot. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me get the, uh, the Patriots real quick. That's what the Trump supporters look like. And that <laughs> so that's a like, typical Trump supporter. But that looks like hate to me. That lo see, yeah, that, I, so I've heard that before. You know, the MAGA hat is hate. So I try to go out and be the kind Trump supporter to hopefully shift perceptions a little and bit. And you have, at this very moment, you, your perception and the way that you spoke to me definitely feels different. Good. And you know, mission accomplished. I feel good about that. I feel good about it. It's great meeting you. You too, thanks. Hi. So this election's coming up. Did you register to vote? No. Are you gonna vote? No. <laughs> Why are you skipping the election? I honestly, I don't like the candidates. I'm, 
I mean, not that Trump is a horrible person. I think he's done fine in his presidency, but yep. I, I didn't vote for him the last election, and then Biden. Hearing all this stuff about him being a and whatnot, watching the videos, that was a little outrageous. I it was hear a little that. unnerving. Yeah. Like, yep. That's a good word for it, unnerving. Yeah, because he was like absorbing their essence. He would smell them. Yeah, I smelling them, touching them. Like yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't like when random guys come up and touch my lower back. Right. So you're touching which, which I did not do. Lower back. Which I did not no, do. I no, approach, I approach from a distance. <laughs> right. Yes. Well, thank you for your input. Of course, thank you. Hi. Where are you from? I'm from Pennsylvania. Oh, I went to Lehigh. Really? And I wanted to get you earlier because that hair, that hair looks amazing. Oh, thanks. Look at that beautiful hair. Let me go outside. You. So my question is, did you uh, register to vote this election? I did not. You didn't, are you going to register? I think the deadline's coming up. I may, I may not. Okay. Yeah. It's undecided. Mm -hmm. okay. What about you? Did you register to vote? No, I have not. Are you going to? Maybe. Okay. Do you want to share who you would vote for if you did register? Uh, Trump. You're a Trump girl. Yo. Oh, yeah. Found it. And what about you? Who would you vote for? Same Trump. Oh, I love you girls. I love you girls. Thank you. Do you want to go to the uh, park? Are we live? All right. Hey, guys. Adam Francisco here. We are at uh, Reed Canal Park in uh, Daytona Beach, I think. Is this Daytona Beach? Yes. yes out here. Daytona, Daytona Beach. Beach. And I'm with the Young Conservative Brothers. So we're going to get to know them a little bit. And uh, make sure you guys check out their channel. They do a lot of analysis of current events. And uh, I love the stuff they got to say. So make sure you check them out. So let's go meet them. So yeah, we're live. Yep. We are the Young Conservative Brothers. Young Conservative Brothers. We've been doing this, trying to get Trump elected. Oh, and that's a big thing. Four more years. We need them. We need a bad. So pretty much the reason why we created our channel, the Young Conservative Brothers, was we saw the riots and everything going on in the yep. cities. And it yep. was just like, we got to put out a message for, you know, show older people that young people actually love this country. Yeah, and so much times we're getting stuff. Like, people are so excited that young people are coming out. Yep. Coming, giving them a future, giving them some light when they're past or something. Like, it's, and then they go, oh, oh, I know, the destruction, the, just the terrorist attack mm -hmm. that's on, you know, become America. It's just you know, so sad to see. It is. And it's then crazy. there's only one person that's calling them out is President the Trump. The yep. angel sent from God. He's that's what we call him. the only one. Yes. That is saying that. stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's what we call President Trump. The angel oh. sent from God. And yeah, and Joe we, Biden won't even say the word. Oh, oh no, no, he won't. He says it's an idea. It's an idea. Yeah, and you guys saw it. Com, redirects to Joe Biden .com. Yeah, that's the thing. You saw it when you looked up on the Google page. <laughs> yeah, it would go right to Joe Biden. It's yeah. just such a sad thing. So do you thing. really yeah. want to be a supporter of Joe Biden when you know all the Marxists are supporters of him too? Yep. Like, and, yeah, that's and they're the thing. they're the ones that are burning down the inner cities and making your families not mm -hmm. safe. Only yep. Democrat cities. Yeah, that's it's only happening in. Exactly, because Trump tried to send in the federal help and the Democrat mayors turned him down. Turn him down. So it's like, whose fault is that? And for oh, what, 90 to what, about 80 days, it has the been. DNC, Democrats, Joe Biden was saying, oh, it's peaceful protests, but then his polls started going down, and then he started coming. coming oh, we out. don't need violence, we don't yep. need all this. Yep. It's just such a sad thing to well, see. Well, Kenosha and Minneapolis were the only ones that really called the call for Trump to yep. have him come in. It was like in 30 minutes. Yeah, how yep. long? It was gone. How long did it take? <laughs> yeah, because, because he deputized a lot of the police force there, oh, which is what he needs to do. It was handcuffed me on the back. You couldn't even do anything. They yep. couldn't go out, and if they did anything, they get police brutality, then they yeah, get they thrown even, in jail they or get get fired in jail or for murder or anything. Yeah, it's just such a sad thing. And then they also advocate for criminals. Oh, yeah, oh. that's one thing. And yeah. You know, we voted. We just voted today for the early voting of Congratulations. Florida. Congratulations. And you know who we voted for? That's right. The angel sent from God, President Trump. Well, was, was, was today the first day you're allowed to vote in person? No, second day. Second, second day. Second. So you guys second. got it really early. Yeah, oh, really early. Actually. How long did you guys wait in line? Actually, it wasn't too bad. Like 20 minutes. 20 there. minutes, yeah. But because it went really fast because we had a bunch of people we were talking about. They're all Trump. They're, they're, all, Trump. they're all really excited that there's young so people. So everybody there. around you, Pretty much it seems Trump. like we're Trump supporters. Yeah, and no. they're all excited, you know, seeing young people really, yeah. you know, voting for Trump and everything. We finally got a future. Yeah, yeah that's what their biggest thing, because they were probably in, what, 60s, 70s? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you guys a question. Are you feeling confident that Trump's going to pull this off? Yes, yes, I do really feel really confident. Very, very confident. Because and the only thing that we say and everyone agrees with is the mail-in vote. Mail -in because vote. they put, what, 80 on ass, you know, mm -hmm. people not even asking, just throwing out. What is Millions it? of yeah. ballots are putting out in California. Then there's Virginia that's trying to do it. And then Pretty you, much almost yeah. every state. At least Florida, we have the absentee ballot, so yeah. it's yep. more secure and it's better. And then you have the mail-in voting. Like, you know how big of a fraud you see? You, you know, mail people throwing away ballots and everything. Yep. Um, Elon Omar is this. It was history. sad back in 2016, the Democrats didn't want mail-in voting because they thought it would be rigged toward Trump. But now, since they know that, they can't win because the economy was blasted. Everything they had jobs. jobs coming out. The, foreign trade there's peace in the middle east yep. and they're like oh we can't beat this guy now nope. yep. and that's the thing that trump said you got to believe him for four more years mm -hmm. 
he said it in 2016, promises made, promises kept. Yeah. You saw it, and he did it, and we need four more years of President Trump. That's well, but what, what, like Trump likes to say, 12 more years. Or maybe more. Yeah, that's well, the, we're going to get Ivanka. We're going to get Eric. Yeah. We're going to get Trump Jr. Yeah, maybe and Mike then, Pence might do it. We don't maybe, know. Maybe Barron. We'll get yeah. to a little Barron no, president. Uh, it'll be a Trump <laughs> dynasty. Trump hey, dynasty. Hey, you know, know what? At this thing. point, I'd love it because it would make the liberals cry. Oh, the oh, left would go insane. I don't even know what they would turn into. We might see them expose more of their ways. Yes, they would. Well, guys, look, I got to say, I am so proud of seeing young Americans taking an active stance in politics. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. And I'm happy that you guys ended up, I think, on the right side. Oh, oh yes, we did. We, we did. And thank you, Adam, for having us. Yes, thank of you course. for having us. Yes. Where can my audience find you? At the YouTube, you can find us at the Young Conservative Brothers. Yep. And then Instagram will be Young Conservative Brothers. <laughs> and then we have Parlor into Young Conservative Brothers. Then we got Twitter at USA underscore brothers. Awesome. Yeah, we'll put all your stuff in the in the description. Yep. So Thank my you very much. Check you guys out. Thank yes. you. Cool, man. So I'm at this place called San Diego Grill, and uh, I came here for the bacon cheeseburger. But my waitress said the chicken fajitas here are also really good. So I couldn't decide. I literally am trapped between a bacon cheeseburger and a chicken fajita. So I told her to surprise me. So I have no idea what's coming out, whether it's a burger or a fajita. But we'll find out together very soon. They're gonna bring me the sizzling. Look at that sizzle! Holy moly! That's beautiful. Good. Oh, can you guys smell it? <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at that. Beautiful. So you get to make your own little fajitas here. Look at that. Oops! 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 And I'm going to. <laughs> I'm gonna load mine up with that hot sauce because the Mexican in me can handle it. Ooh la la! That's it. Go. Mm. We found a Joe Biden supporter. You got the hat on too? With a rainbow. He's got it all. Joe nice. Biden and rainbow. So why do you like Joe? There is no other alternative. No other option. No other option. Siding with Biden. Siding with Biden. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Wow, okay. So uh, why don't give me one reason why you don't like Trump? Give me one reason why you like him. An embarrassment. He's a total embarrassment. Has he done anything good in the last three and a half years? Um, Beastie was pretty good with Israel, right? Um, I can't. Um, Trump did not do anything good in the last four years. Nothing. Absolutely. I can't say what his. Um, what he did was. I can't say whether the Israeli horrible. thing is good. He he made his base very happy of people 90 and above <laughs> that with any luck they'll get COVID and then they won't get the votes. And only hope. Democrats are supposed to be the kind intolerant party or at least this is how they position themselves. Yet this guy is literally crossing his fingers hoping that older Trump voters get COVID rendering them unable to vote. And so I saw a good looking couple. Are you guys together? Yeah. <laughs> good looking couple. So did you guys register to vote yet? I did. You did? Yeah. Alright, are you going to vote in person or are you going to go mail in? I did mail in ballot. Okay, and what about you? I haven't yet, but I'm going to do it in person. Okay, do you guys want to say who you're voting for? What's that do you? I mean, personally, I'm probably going to vote for Trump. Just Woo! Alright. And uh, I'm probably going to, I voted for Joe Biden. Right. Oh, interesting. Yeah. This is an interesting <laughs> dynamic. Yeah. Why, did, why do you like Joe? Uh, I just personally, I don't think uh, Trump is a good person for our country. So, so you're going your side on Biden. And how do you feel about that? Um, I mean, everyone has their personal opinions I love it. on everything. So it's I a beautiful think. relationship, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, I'm very Hi, Tegan. Is Tegan a good girl? Step up and wants to play, Tegan. Yeah, she's trying to get a reaction. What's, What's your, up, Betty what's, Boop? What's your dog's name? Cloud. No. This, one up here. this one's a raindrop. Let's talk about Venezuela okay. for a second. About Venezuela, so exactly. you're Venezuelan? Yes. When did you come to America? So I've been back and forth, back and forth, and last time I've been here for like three years. Very nice. But yeah, I'm from Venezuela, and um, what actually made me have to get out of there has been the situation in Venezuela that's been so critical. Yep. And truly, out of like my. 20, my group of 20 friends, um, literally not one of them, maybe one or two are still in Venezuela because they haven't been able to get out. 
Yep. And it's really sad because other than that, everybody else is in Argentina, they're in Spain, they're in Peru, they're yep. in Ecuador, everywhere else except Venezuela because it's so critical a situation that I remember having to go to college without eating because if you eat in the morning, you're not going to eat at night. That's so crazy. And do you think socialism is to blame for... Oh yeah, definitely. So, and are you worried about America going in that direction or do you think that um, that... Yes, definitely I would be worried because there's a reason we're coming here and it's definitely just because we're getting out of the situation and right. it's really scary that you know you try to run away from that and then for America to go towards that direction it's like okay now where else are we gonna go right because definitely they keep saying no yeah it just just doesn't it works it just didn't work in these places it, it sounds so, good in ideology yeah, but in execution it doesn't work definitely because yep. you know you might have two pieces of bread and you can give me one and we both eat and it sounds great of course <laughs> we're both eating but what's gonna happen with that well if since he's giving me bread i don't need to work right. i don't need to get my own bread why am i gonna even get why am i even gonna try if i'm getting my bread for free yep so i'm just gonna wait for you to give me my bread and you're gonna work extra hard and i'm just here waiting and eating off you like a parasite yep and that's why it doesn't work that's really well said <laughs> How are you feeling about doing the slingshot? My heart racing. Your heart's racing, right? This is a good workout. <laughs> so a lot of you guys might be surprised by this, but I am no fan of roller coasters, bungee jumping, skydiving, any of this crap. This stuff scares the hell out of me. If I really think about doing it, I start having a panic attack. So I'm not gonna do this thing. It's called the slingshot. It's a famous ride here in Daytona Beach. If you guys come here, you could do the slingshot. I'm not gonna do it. I think that's crazy. For me, I don't like scary movies either because why scare yourself? There's enough crazy stuff in the world that you shouldn't have to put yourself in a position that, that you want to scare yourself. That's my theory and I'm sticking to it. So guys, how was that? Oh, Amazing, so brother. Fun, had a ball, man. Yeah? Had a ball. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Was it scary at all for you? That's crazy. Yep, I am not doing that. How are you feeling? I feel better. I'm on the bottom. <laughs> Was it as scary as you thought? Yes. What did you say about my hat? I said I love your hat. It's awesome. Thank you. It's because you're a smart man. There you go. Because you're because you're a patriot. <laughs> <laughs> but I know what's right. <laughs> exactly. Before we go, guys, I wanted to give a special shout out to one of my good friends, Bear Williams. An up and coming actor who is based in Thailand and he just made his Hollywood debut. That's right, he's uh, in Tremors Shriekers Island. And you could find the movie on Netflix or you could download it on Amazon or iTunes. So I'll put a link to his video in the description below. And Bear, man, I'm just, you know, I'm so proud of you, man. Seriously, it's so cool watching you go from uh, commercials in Thailand to Hollywood studio movies. It's, it's unbelievable. And uh, you inspire me every day, bro. I'm proud of you. And I hope that this role in Tremors, you know, spins off and gets you just a bunch of other roles in other movies because... I see how dedicated you are to being an actor, how dedicated you are to the craft, and uh, I have nothing but respect for you and love, brother. So congratulations, and everybody, go support the movie. Mm -hmm.